Good afternoon, everybody. We are back again, myself and Sheikh Mangobangwenya. My name is the Sobri Boys Walifatsi from the Big R. Uh, we know that um, we are going to witness a very big games, especially when we go to AFCON. Uh, of course, I will still, we are still going to talk the local football, the Compact Cup, uh, you name it. Sheikhs, we have a, a big one, Cameroon and, and Gambia. Uh, thanks for giving me the contact of uh, Roger Fetumba. I tried him, but unfortunately, I could not get hold of him. Um, yeah, uh, because I wanted to hear from his perspective. Sheikhs, tell us, what's your take if you analyze the two? I know that you have to leave quickly in the next three minutes. Yeah, uh, Prasobri, um, it's so unfortunate we couldn't have Roger, you know, but uh, I've spoken to him during the week and uh, he's, 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 he's of high spirits that uh, they will conquer today's game against Gambia. And uh, he has been telling me that he, he's even spoken to the president of Cameroon uh, Football Association, his friend and, 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 and ex-colleague Samuel Eto and uh, everything. Uh, is looking good in Cameroon for, for the Cameroonians to, to retain that cup, to, to, to make it stay at home in Cameroon as they are the hosts. So yeah, uh, coming to today's game, uh, I'm of the opinion that uh, Gambia will, will, will po pose a great threat to Cameroon. I mean, we've seen this competition, how it's unfolded. Mm. It hasn't been easy for the so-called big teams, you know? Mm. Uh, but Cameroon have gone about their business well with Abu Bakr there uh, being the runaway top goal scorer of the competition. But yeah, I think it's not going to be easy today. Gambia are the debutants in this competition and uh, they have proven that they are made of, 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 of strong stuff. Uh, they are not going to be uh, brushed aside and uh, they are here to fight. So uh, it will be up to Cameroon how they take on this one. It's not going to be an easy game. Uh, but yeah, uh, it remains to be seen how this one will unfold. You mentioned Abu Bakr. You know, <clears throat> he's really doing well. And then I'm sure he's president because he's president of the federation, which is Samuel Eto used to bang the goals. I'm sure he's very proud of him. Um, apparently he's at six goals now. And remember, we are still going for the quarterfinal, semifinal, and final. And then, uh, do you think Cameroon will go all the way to the finals? Yeah, Prasobri. I don't know. I think yeah, uh, 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 they will. They will go all the way to the final. They've got the home crowd uh, uh, for them, um, and. Um, and yeah, they've been doing well. They've been the team that has scored, I think, the most goals so far in this competition. And uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, Gambia will give them a go, but uh, I think uh, they will go through an extra time or penalties. Sheikhs, are you still on the issue that Egypt will take this tournament? <laughs> uh, all, all. My prediction is still, as it, as it was said, Egypt yeah. are still in. They started off very slowly. And normally when a team starts off that slowly and we know it's quality, mm -hmm. uh, the big guys are going to rise now. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's, the, it's the stages of the big guys, the, the likes of Mo Salah, mm -hmm. uh, to rise now for, for, for the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's not going to be easy. Also for them, they they are playing the North the the North African uh, 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 sort of derby there against the the Moroccans. Uh, the Moroccans have got a lot of quality, mm -hmm. so it's, it's not going to be easy against Morocco as well. But yes, uh, I believe Egypt will come through on that one, and uh, uh, we we will await to see if more uh, if if. if if Sadio Mane, the, the, the colleague of, of Mo Salah, will do the business for, for, for Senegal against Equatorial Guinea, that's also going to be another tough game. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see that Mo Salah and Sadio Mane are still in the competition. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, the likes of, 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 of Guinea uh, were knocked out. Uh, Keita's Guinea. Uh, so he's gone back to Enfield, and uh, these two are still are still going to battle it out. Mm -hmm. it, it, it remains to be seen how it's going to unfold. 
Sheikhs, you still have another assignment to complete. Let me release you quickly. Uh, take um, uh, to go and do his business. So we want to watch him in the next four or five years. Uh, we want to be on our screen watching him now. Sheikhs, thank you very much for being with me uh, this lunch hour. And then good luck. We'll talk again on Tuesday morning. Thank you very much, Sheikhs. Thanks, Prasorbi. Thanks for having me. And uh, let me tell you, Prasorbi, we'll, we'll watch the space. We'll be talking about this boy here on the show. Mm. Uh, let me go do my business with him and, and prepare him for, for, for bigger things. Thank you, Sheikhs. Thank you. All right. Now, um, as Sheikhs is preparing himself to leave, uh, we are still going to continue with the show. Uh, remember, this is the second part of the show. Uh, where we discuss so many things. So I don't know what's your take. Do you think that uh, the final will be between uh, Cameroon and Egypt? And then if it happens, that is between Cameroon and Egypt, who's going to win there as far as uh, that competition is concerned? And then uh, let's come back now to uh, our local football. Um, we, we heard that... Um, um, the coach of um, Super Sport, uh, no, no, not even the coach. I think he's the, is it a CEO, Stan Matthews? Um, apparently, he, he lashed out at Sipombuli because he feels that Sipombuli came back uh, being overweight. And then uh, he's not pleased with that. That how can, um, you know, a player uh, all of a sudden is overweight, uh, even if maybe does not want to play for them but he expected him to behave like a professional. So he is not quite, he's not happy um, about that. And then uh, we'll see what's gonna happen. And then we just hope that things go uh, according to plan. And we know by now that uh, Tabo Mukwena, who was a hot potato, uh, everybody was looking for him at Tabo Mukwena and then, uh, is now with uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. And then uh, if I can give you uh, people, the signings that have already been confirmed, Amazulu have signed Abu Bakr Mubara and Abram Majok. They've already Majok. And then Bo ba Baroka FC have signed Diniso Bombi and Chipa United has signed Sipelelo Tuli and Ronald Fambinzai. Uh, and then Sundowns have uh, signed Surprise Kalane, and then and also Debo Mukwena. Sikukune United have signed, these are confirmed signings, uh, Justin Shonga, Lucky Boy Mukwena, Evans Rusike, Rodrigue Gambe, and Stellenbosch have signed uh, Johan Carlos Otis, while Marisbeck United have signed Tawanda Macheke, uh, uh, Genino Palace, Lucky Baloyi, Steven Pereira, uh, Friday Samu. TS Galaxy have signed the following players Vuyo Mere, uh, Lifa Shongwane, Shane Roberts, uh, Urobezi Mangaye, and Andy Lefakute. Uh, we are still watching the space. Uh, we know that we heard that um, uh, Kaiser Chiefs are on the verge of signing uh, Sietemba Sitebe, uh, although there is a bit um, uh, uproar as far as that signing is concerned. Uh, but we'll watch the space and see what's happening. Uh, so those are the things that are happening in our football. So uh, remember, uh, now it was uh, an international break, um, especially Europe, even here. We are watching the AFCON and also the Compact Cup, which is um, our um, uh, the tournament, um, you know, that has been brought into picture by uh, the PSL. And while I'm still there, I must say, so far I'm very much impressed with uh, Zola Machavo. Uh, the guy comes and delivers and give us the news from time to time. 
And then uh, I like what he says. He does not want to be disturbed. He does not want us to, you know, keep on talking to him about, you know, especially about issues that are on the table and ask him questions because he wants to focus. Uh, I'm very pleased. I think he's doing well. Uh, I can see the speed uh, of solving issues. Uh, for me, I'm very much impressive about uh, uh, what is happening as far as all much of his concern. Uh, keep up the good work. And then uh, we really appreciate uh, the good job that you are doing. And then at the same time, I also like to indicate that, remember we spoke about um, uh, Kune, if you're not mistaken. We spoke about Kune, especially after a very exciting performance that he displayed uh, during the Compact Cup. So he has come out uh, boldly to say he still has a 10 year uh, ahead of him. So he's, he's, he's now he's inspired. And then uh, he wants to reach the record of uh, Buffon uh, because Buffon is still playing and Buffon is way above uh, 40, I think it's 42, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, to Melungune says, no, no, um, I I'm sure I can still um, uh, do something. And then uh, till uh, I have 10, 10 years, you know, yeah, um, we just wish uh, wish Itumelangkuna a uh, good luck, and uh, we see that Royal AM has parted ways. Uh, those are the rumors with just Jackson Mabohwane. I just wonder what's happening with this young man, Jackson Mabohwane. Uh, you know, so uh, according to Sia, they said um, it is revealed that Mabohwane is, you know, people who are thinking of bringing him uh, on board is Marumo Garlands. Um, we'll see what's gonna happen. We'll watch the space. We still have um, Sunday and Monday, uh, which is the last day for the, the, the um, what you call, the last day for, uh, the last day for, for, for uh, the last day for the signings. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Then in Europe, um, we have so, so not so much news. We know that um, uh, there was international. We saw that Argentina, they were playing uh, Chile, Chile uh, for the world qualifier. Although Argentina has already qualified, that's why Lionel Messi did not join them. And Argentina has won 2-1 that game. And then we know that uh, Suarez scored another goal and then he has now equal Messi uh, in terms of uh, scoring 27 goals in terms of the South, uh, uh, you know, um, um, the South America uh, continental uh, uh, tournaments. So those are some of the news uh, that we have as far as uh, um, the, 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 the international, and then uh, we know that Lionel Messi was seen to have visited uh, Barcelona. And then uh, he was seen to be having a meeting with uh, uh, Xavi. And then uh, I think it was Xavi and, and other few players. But uh, notably, in the absence, there was no PK. And remember that PK, uh, he's one guy, he's a Barcelona fan. He said it that uh, he's a Barcelona through and through. If he has to leave Barcelona, he's gonna retire. And we know that rumors are saying Messi is not happy with the role that has been played by, 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 by PK as far as his move is concerned, because apparently Laporta went to PK and asked him, will it be a bad move if they sell Messi? and then so that they can make sure that they are books balances. And then apparently PK gave them a green light. So Messi felt that PK betrayed him because PK knew very well that uh, uh, Messi wanted to, to, to remain at Barcelona. He did not want to, to leave. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Um, whether are they thinking of getting Messi back uh, if they are going to get him back when, for that matter, 
we are still watching the space. And then uh, the issue of Alien Haaland is still hot. We don't know where is he going. Is he going to Real Madrid? Or is he going to Man City? Or what's going to happen? Um, yeah, we, we, we are watching that space very closely. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. And then there is quite a lot happening. And then, uh, yeah, after this international, and then we'll see what's going to happen. Probably uh, we'll see something. Um, you know, because remember now, all the teams are going for the last lap, the last lap now of the tournament. And then, um, so uh, I'm sure everybody wants to prove a point that uh, I can deliver. And then uh, we know that uh, in England, top four spot, it's, it's very hot. Uh, we don't know who's gonna occupy that top four. But uh, number one, number two, that one seems to be guaranteed. Uh, number one, number two, number three, top four is the one that is a little bit worrying. And then, uh, but in terms of the winner of uh, the, 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 the league, or in terms of the person who's going to win uh, the league in, in England, I know some people have been saying now, uh, there's no way, uh, what is this, this team, is gonna lose uh, uh, Man City. Uh, where they are, they've already positioned themselves to a position whereby nothing will stop them at this point in time. Um, yeah, so those are some of the news uh, that we want to share as far as the international football. Uh, but now I'm definitely gonna move on and discuss the Messi special as usual, uh, because I'll continue to do this, the Messi special. Uh, continue to prove a point that uh, Messi is the best. Messi is the best. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Um, you, you know, I can always argue uh, uh, as much as I can. Uh, but, um, you know, let me uh, start the Messi special as usual and, and see what do I have as far as the Messi special is concerned. Um, there's quite a lot to share uh, when it comes to the Messi special. Uh, let me start here. Um, I'm gonna start with what did, uh, did Drogba, did Drogba said about Lionel Messi. You know, what I've noticed about Lionel Messi, you know, uh, remember I've said it before. And remember I said, uh, all the time when I do the Messi special, I'll always bring Ronaldo into the topic because I think that's the main issue. Uh, Messi is suffering because they always bring Ronaldo into the picture. If you listen to media, especially those who are pro Ronaldo, when they mention the Messi, they'll always bring Ronaldo in the same sentence. And then I don't think uh, they're being fair. And then get me clear, Ronaldo is a, is a big player. He's the best player in the world. He's doing well. Even his coach, his coach in Portugal has said it, that Ronaldo is the best player in the world, but he's not Messi. Get that statement. He's the best player, but he's not Messi. Messi is something else. Messi is a genius. Now, this is what um, uh, Didier Drogba said about Lionel Messi, all right? Said, I remember a story very well Di Matteo, he was a Chelsea coach at some point. Um, as usual, he would give them a list of opposing team scorers. Uh, example, he would list Wayne Ruby, scored 22 goals, Robin Van Pes, 15 goals, and so on. Then one day we faced Barcelona. That's according to Didier Drogba. He put the score list. Uh, in third place, it was Xavi with 14 goals. In second place, it was Alex. Alexis Sanchez and Serge Fabregas with 15 goals away. But uh, according to DJ, they all started to laugh when he showed them who was on top. Uh, it was Leo Messi. The guy had scored 63 goals, including 14 goals in the Champions League. 63 goals this season. And the season had not yet ended. So, <clears throat> um, because he says it was such a crazy number that that's Drogba. 
uh, that we looked at each other as players uh, with disbelief in our fa on our faces, started laughing when what else could we do? Uh, I even took a photo of the number of goals because it was outrageous. That was what uh, Doug Drogba said. And then he said, uh, that year, that year, Messi scored 91 goals. Man, Lionel Messi is a genius. You may like it or not, uh, but I'll keep on reminding you that this man, he's something else. He's something else. You know, um, I want you to also watch this. Very interesting. All right. Uh, at 23, Kelly Mbappe scored his first hat trick. At 23, Ronaldo scored his first hat trick. At 23, Messi scored three Ballon d'Ors, the third one at 23. All right? So this is the picture. Uh, I want to bring this to your attention so that you understand what I'm talking about. And I'm still looking. You know what? I'm not angry at uh, Lewandowski because uh, Lewandowski is a player and I, I, I'm certain that Lewandowski understand very well. And Lewandowski is clear, you know, they were just trying to pit him against Messi. And then uh, unfortunately came out and said, no, no, I never said that. In fact, there was truth that Messi mentioned my name. Um, Lewandowski is the FIFA Football of the Year. But look at it. Messi became man of the match 33 times. All right? 33 times in 2021. Lewandowski became man of the match, if I'm not mistaken, 13 times. All right? 13 times or, you know, 12 times, something like that. So remember when you're a man of the match, you have beaten all 21 players during that game. You were the best player for that game. And you say that player was not the player of the year. FIFA, they need to look at themselves. I don't think things are doing well. That is why people are starting to question why uh, Peter Misiman was not even among the top coaches who did well that year. So, so those are some of the things that you need to ask yourself. What's happening exactly? Now, listen to um, um, Jose Mourinho as he described Messi, all right? He says, Messi is like a porn movie. Everybody likes it, but in public, they deny it. Well, I don't want to say more as far as Lionel Messi is concerned. Uh, for me, uh, this man is a genius. He's out of this world. Uh, people should start now admitting that uh, Lionel Messi is the best. Um, I just want to share something again uh, as far as Lionel Messi is concerned so that uh, you get my point. Maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from when I say he is the best player in the world. Um, so let's see. <coughs> Sorry about that. Mm. Um, I just want to share one, one, one thing before uh, before I, I I move on with with my discussion. I just want to share something uh, about Lionel Messi uh, because I still argue that this man is the best. He is the best. He is the best among the best. Um, I'll keep on doing this uh, Messi special until people acknowledge that uh, this man is really the greatest. Now, I want to share with you in 2021, all right? Uh, I'm still challenging how come he was not the player of the year, FIFA player of the year. In 2021, Lionel Messi is the only player in major international tournament history to be the player of the tournament, top goal scorer, top assist, and the winning captain. This happened in 2021. 
He's the only player in history. All right. He's the only player in history. That's the understanding that you should have to win all this in one year. And that's the year FIFA says Messi does not deserve to be the player of the year. And some questioning, how did that came about? All right. Um, now, I'm still going to go on. When we look at uh, assist, Leo Messi, in football history, he has made 320 assists, followed by David Beckham, 258 followed by Louis Figo, 244. <clears throat> Sorry. His counter, his countryman, Di Maria, followed Figo, 242. Tierra Henry, 235. Mesut Ozil, 231. Luis Suarez, 231. Cesc Fabregas, 230. There is Cristiano Ronaldo, 229. Thomas Muller, 225. All right. So the gap between Messi and Ronaldo, the two are incomparable. I'll keep on giving you the Messi special. Um, well, some of you may hate me for that, but it's fine. It's okay. I give the facts as they are, and you can also give me facts as they are, and I will appreciate it. All right. So for me, Lionel Messi is the best. He's the best. I still argue Lionel Messi, you know, in years to come, will be remembering this genius, this genius. And one of the person who described him very well, it's Ray Hudson. Ray Hudson said, I played with Pele. I watched Pele, I watched Maradona. I watched her, uh, Brazilian Ronaldo. And then I watched Cristiano, I watched uh, Messi. This is something else. It's, it's phenomenal. I've never seen such a thing in Lionel Messi. This is the best. This is the best. I want to hear your view. And thank you very much. <clears throat> I can see that people uh, are subscribing and are continue to subscribe. I, we really appreciate. And then, uh, yeah, man, let's look forward. Uh, let's watch uh, the Afghan uh, uh, late this afternoon or early evening and, and, and late at night and tomorrow. Thank you very much.